how's it going? So I just want to do a video real quickly, as the title says, on the importance of males getting tested for infertility and for people that feel like they're going through some type of fertility challenges. Uh, I was supposed to do a question of the week this week, but I'm actually just going to push it to next week because I felt like this is something that I wanted to talk about. And this is after a subscriber was kind of just telling me about how her husband was refusing <laughs> to want to do the testing to get checked out to see if anything was wrong with him or if there's something that they needed to work out or work through. And so I felt like there may be a lot of people out there that may have this particular struggle. So if you've been TTCing for a while and you've decided that it's just not working out, it's not happening for you, you're not getting pregnant, then the next step is to go through fertility testing. Just to get checked out, check your blood, check your blood, see how that's going, give you an ultrasound, transvaginal ultrasound to see if things are going well with you, check your husband's sperm, and all sorts of things like that. The biggest thing is that in order for you to have a baby, you need the two of you <laughs> it has to be you and it has to be him or in the case of people doing it with the donor it has to be you and it has to be the sperm from him the most important thing in reference to fertility in men is their sperm so it has to be checked and so if you're facing this problem where your husband doesn't want to do it or your partner doesn't want to do it you have to tell them that they have to man up and get it done because there's no way. It takes one and one to make the baby. And so even if you go to the doctor and the doctor says, nothing is wrong with you. You have no problems. You don't have to do anything. Everything is fine. You're going to need him. And even if the doctor says something is wrong, we need to work through this. We have to get your blood work done. We have to do this and we have to do that. You're still going to need him because it almost is like, not really working towards anything if you can't get that part of the equation done. So here you are trying, 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 nothing seems to be wrong with you. And all you need to do is get him to just go in and get that part done. Then he has to know the importance of that because it kind of makes you trying in vain if in the event something is definitely in the event that the doctor wants to prescribe you anything like Femara or Clomid or any type of fertility drug, they're going to want to know what's happening with your husband's sperm because there's many things that could be wrong i mean he could have a low sperm count or either have a high sperm count but bad morphology or either have a high sperm count but the sperm aren't as modal as they should be meaning they aren't running as fast towards the egg where they're supposed to be going and so that's very important one thing that i want you to do after watching this video i'm going to leave the link in the description box one of the things that i found and the beginning of my TTC journey that is a very good, about an hour long documentary that you should watch. It's called The Great Sperm Race. Um, and I've seen it in pieces, but I think it's it's on YouTube and it's free, but it's, bro it's broken up into about 10 minute blocks. And so I'm gonna leave it below. So you and your husband or significant other to definitely watch The Great Sperm Race. And even if you're trying with a donor, you should definitely watch The Great Sperm Race because that kind of determines what you're looking for in the sperm that you want to have in terms of making your baby. Motility is important. Morphology is important. So you want to make sure that that's getting done. I just, I just felt like that's really, it's really important. I could see where it could be a stressful thing, where it could be a thing 
um, of anxiety with the man to have to go in there and give a sample and kind of wait and see if everything is going to be okay. Um, but if the two of you are working together on this TTC journey and the two of you definitely want a baby and you feel like you are at a block or at a roadblock in this particular journey, then you have to have that done. He has to, when I say he has to, he has to have it done because if not, then you'll just be kind of running the rabbit race without knowing both ends and both sides of the story. And sperm is very important for a TTC journey. It has to be. The thing about it, as in most things in the TTC journey, is that there is usually is always a fix. There's always something to be found out. Maybe he just needs to take supplements, you know? Maybe he needs to go to the doctor and have an ultrasound. Like there's so many different things, but I just want to encourage ladies that if you are having a problem with getting him to go to the um to go and get checked out then you just have to really explain the importance of it. You really have to explain the importance of it because I can't say it more than a million times that he has to do this because it takes two people. And you don't want to be sitting there, you know, pulling your hair out for 15 months TTCing, not knowing what's going on. It's like, if you're willing to go out there and get everything done, get blood work, get ultrasounds, get all sorts of stuff, then he has to be also willing to play that part in this particular journey. Um, all of you know, my, my husband did have a sperm analysis back in the beginning of this thing. And if I can find the video of me talking about it, I will put it somewhere like as a card. Uh, and then in one of the videos, I believe it was for one of our IUI videos, he kind of showed a pan of like what the room looks like and things like that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it is nerve wracking, but it is an easy thing to do. And if you can encourage your husband to do that, then that would be wonderful. Ladies, so that is all. So homework. I'm going to give you homework today. Imagine that. Homework. Your homework is, if you have never seen The Great Sperm Race, I'm leaving it in the description box. I want you to watch it. And if you can get your significant other to watch, Go watch it, watch it come too. back and comment on this video and tell me what you thought. What was the most interesting part? What did you learn from this video? And that would be absolutely awesome. I just want to make sure that everyone is doing and trying everything that they could possibly try and make sure that in the end, they're getting the babies that they want. All right, ladies, until next time, I'll see you soon.